streaming live, this is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Jisoo Ki. It is January 15th. Here's what you need to know this morning. America remains on high alert as it heads into President Donald Trump's last weekend in office. Officials say 21,000 National Guard troops will be in the nation's capital by Inauguration Day, which is Wednesday. FBI officials told Vice President Mike Pence yesterday that the Bureau is tracking a, quote, extensive amount of concerning online chatter about the potential for violence at protests in D.C. and across the country. Leaders in all 50 states are preparing for possible armed rallies in the days leading up to the presidential transition. So far, at least two governors have already declared states of emergency in Utah and New Mexico. Meanwhile, airlines say they're stepping up security, banning guns in checked bags, and some lawmakers want anyone arrested in connection to the Capitol riots put on the government's no-fly list. All eyes are on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi as the timing of President Trump's impeachment trial remains up in the air. The Senate trial can't begin until the charge has been formally sent to the chamber. Pelosi has not yet said when she will, but is expected to answer questions about her next steps this morning. The Democratic-controlled House voted 232 to 197 Wednesday to impeach Trump on a charge of incitement of insurrection. President-elect Biden unveiled a nearly $2 trillion coronavirus recovery plan yesterday. In the proposal, direct payments of $1,400 to most Americans and raising the federal minimum wage to $15 per hour. It also aims to help speed up vaccine distribution, a topic that Biden will address to the nation this afternoon. We'll be live streaming his speech on our website, newsnationnow.com, and on our app starting at 3.45 p.m. Eastern. Developing overnight, the U.S. executed a man with COVID-19. Corey Johnson was put to death last night for his role in a series of Virginia slayings in 1992. His lawyers had claimed that the lethal injection would cause excruciating pain due to lung damage from his recent infection. Another execution is scheduled for today. And the New York Police Department is facing a major lawsuit over officers' response to racial injustice protests this summer. The state's attorney general sued the NYPD yesterday, citing dozens of examples of alleged misconduct during the demonstrations. Mayor Bill de Blasio is a defendant in the suit. He agrees reforms are needed, but says a lawsuit is not the solution. He's been hailed as a hero for steering a group of rioters away from the Senate chambers. Now, three lawmakers have introduced a bill to award Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman, you see him there, with a Congressional Gold Medal. Officer Goodman was captured on camera, intentionally drawing rioters away from the unguarded door of the Senate chambers. Now, lawmakers say his actions saved lives and bought security precious time to evacuate the Senate. Mm. Officer Goodman, a good man. It's been a long week. You've made it to Friday. Take good care of yourself and your family this weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Stay with us today for breaking news coverage. Of course, here on our app and on our website. And tonight, News Nation's broadcast at um, 8, 7 central. We'll see you then.